Sweet baby Jesus, ladies and gentlemen, look at all the freaking Capro we had. So uh, this week's patron competition is a little bit different. Uh, I wasn't able to make it on Sunday to actually record with everybody, so they all left their Capros here. I believe there are 22 entries this week, and they are amazing. We've got a lot of stuff planned for this episode. We've got a couple pens we need to build, and we got Capros to look over. So... I think we'll go ahead and start from this side here. Let me go ahead and put the UI back on so we can see names. Uh, so this one is named Nickelodeon, and this is number one. So this is actually... Capro mutations look freaking amazing. So we got yellow, blue, green, and cyan. That's a really good color combination. Me likey. Then number two is Sunset with... Ooh, that's like that really cool blue color that I don't get very often with yellow, purple, and blue. Man, I need to mutate some more Capros. These things look amazing. Uh, so then number three is the perfect blue bag. <laughs> All of the blue. Tiny humans gonna freaking love it. Then we got number four, Cat's Pink Lemonade, which it does look like lemonade, pink lemonade. It's amazing. There we go. So number five is Caprosuchus. I think uh, when I claimed this one, it didn't actually um, uh, transfer the name over, so I'm not 100% sure who this is. But we got pink, yellow, or white, uh, pink and blue, which looks nice. Then we got Bushy's Frosty. Frosty the Capro had a very frosty look. Derp, 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 derp. I lost count of the Capros. So that's three, uh, four, five, six. So number six is Bushies. Anyways, uh, then we got number seven, AG's primary. I'm assuming because it's got a whole bunch of primary colors on it. Yellow, red, and blue. I would also call that Pokemans. <laughs> oh, man. I've got issues. So yeah, that was number seven. And we got number eight. Stamps Permafrost. I like the way this one looks. Need like a snow biome uh, Capro. Yep, so Stamps Permafrost is number eight. Then we got to number nine, Piskin's Barney. And it looks like freaking Barney. Well done. Well done. Number 10, Sock is Tricks. Sock's Tricks. Looks like Tricks is for kids, man. Tricks is for kids. These things look... Oh, my God. That is the bluest Capro that has ever Caproed. Holy Jesus. That's number 11, right? Uh, yeah. Yep, so we got uh, 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Oh, my God. It is blue. For Oh, it's for, it's for Tiny Human. It's super blue. Oh, my God. You have to get pretty lucky to get all the zones colored like that. And we got number 12, Foxy's Tutti Fruity. <laughs> I kind of want those like uh those those uh starbursts now man that one looks really cool oh almost forgot to say this one is number 12 foxy's tutti fruity is number 12 then we got amatel's schnappy oh yeah it's number 13 then we got doves chapped is number 14 jen's fruit salad as number 15 Fluffy's Buddy is number 16. Let me go. Oh, I can't. Uh, number seven. Fluffy's Buddy is number 16. And then Sammy's The Carrot. <laughs> Looks like carrot cake. It reminds me of carrot cake for some reason. Oh, my God. All right. So Sam's The Carrot is number 17 or is it 16? So it's number 17. Then we got number 18, Zana's Barniet. Nice. Very nice. So that, that is number 18, Zana's Barnett. Number 19, Asmo's Cotton Candy. Nom, nom, nom. Number 20, The Crazy Lizard's Maggie. That one looks pretty cool. I like the cup. Man, all of these look amazing. So that is number 20, The Crazy Lizard's Maggie. And then 21, Vashamira's Time Zone Derp. <laughs> I think it's because she submitted hers late. That's fantastic. It pooped! No poop, and every other cap row did fantastic but you. Why'd you have to screw it up? And then number 22, Insignia's The River. Aw, oh, yeah. So we need to actually start mutating some of these cap rows for ourselves. It's been a little bit of a disaster. We're trying to get cap row mutations, but really haven't gotten any. And life's been crazy. But yeah, leave your comments down below for your favorite cap row mutation. 
and the patrons will win some awesome things thanks to you guys anyways uh so today we've got to make a tickle chicken enclosure and possibly a spino enclosure as well so we got a lot of stuff to work on uh, also might start working a little bit more on these small dino enclosures over here uh, but i believe i want to put the tickle chickens in here or maybe not right here because i think that might need to be more cave bits um, so if we go over this way through the giant freaking zoo maybe a tickle chicken enclosure would look good over here because we do need something right in here so maybe this will work we'll make like a narrower uh tickle chicken enclosure so i think what i'll do is i'm gonna go ahead and get the uh, the surrounding bits made and then i'll come back and see what we can do but i hope you guys all enjoy the episode you guys are amazing got the best community ever if you do find yourselves enjoying it, don't forget to show your support and smash that like button. I just screwed up. I wanted to show you some of the new enclosures we made. I, I added water to the Sarco pen. I feel like I recorded that already in something else, but I wanted to show you guys what, what it looks like with the water. It looks a lot better with the water in the Sarco pen. Thanks to uh, Eco's... I think this is a part of the garden decor with the water. Looks freaking amazing. Eco, you are amazing. Well, as always, it's freaking raining again. So now uh, we've got to actually enclose this with glass. Now, this is kind of a large, slim pen. I was thinking of cutting this into two, but I think one larger pen for the tickle chickens would be kind of nice. Now, unfortunately, I have built this on two different levels because I'm dumb and it's going to look like hammered booty. So it's just the way it is, you know, sometimes... Life gives you lemons, sometimes it gives you hammered, hammered booty. And you just gotta live with it, okay? <laughs> um, so it might be a little wonky on the other side too. Not 100% sure uh, what I'm doing with my life. I don't know. Um, we're just kinda going with it and hoping for the best. Let's see here. Hopefully it doesn't look too bad over here. Uh, it looks terrible. It looks the worst. Oh, that's just ridiculous looking. Um, what I'm going to have to do... Oh, I can... If I select the model and put it to no sides... And... Hmm. Well, okay. No, we can put it on sides on the bottom. So just uh, one side. Um, and maybe it'll look good that way. Okay, that looks good. That looks good. And we'll just have to figure out something for the top to make it look even better. So I got to figure out how exactly how high I should make these glass walls. I feel like too high is what I'm going to need to do. So let's just go ahead and go with too high, I guess. And then we're going to put the... Oh my god. Okay, yeah, that'll work. That'll work. Yeah, it's, it's going to look a little wonky there, but it could be a lot worse, I think. Let's see here. So yeah, um... I think I don't know what trees to use for this. Do you do find tickle chickens on the beach a lot? You can also find them in the woods. So I think I'm just going to go with a wooded look to it. And that'll probably be good. Now, um, yeah, I guess this will be okay. That doesn't look nearly as bad as I thought. It does look a little wonky on the little corner bit, but still not terrible. Anyways, I'm just going to get this encased in glass and get the glass all set up with the railings. And then we'll be back in a few minutes. Okay, so we've got all the glass done. It doesn't look too bad. Got some pillars up there to cover the, the messed up bits. Um, we got all these trees and we need to use some trees, right? Uh, so we haven't used the colorful trees in a while. So I ended up spawning in a bunch of those, um, which will hopefully... Make it look pretty cool. Now, if you guys are curious, these are all from Eco's Trees. I know you guys ask quite often uh, where some of these mods come from. So let's see here. This is the regular Banyan tree, which actually fits here quite freaking amazingly, I might say. Yes, that looks freaking fandedly tastic. That doesn't happen very often. I always try and use that tree, and it never snaps right. Ooh, that's pretty. The The mesh on the tree itself is surprisingly bad. Wow. I might have to just get rid of that just because that looks ridiculous. Why is it so bad like that? It's very strange. Most of the trees aren't like that. 
Anyways, let's go ahead and place this one. I know this one looks pretty cool. It's, um, let me see. Can we find a good way to snap this? There we go. That looks good like that. And then I wanted to put more trees in here, but it doesn't look like we're really going to be able to place too much. Uh, this tree usually looks good. There we go. All right, yeah. So does this go through the glass too much? Nope. Placed just right. Perfect. Now we just need to get some bushes and stuff, uh, which we can go ahead and look in here. Uh, we're gonna, we've been using ACM. So I think if we go into Eco's um, trees, there's also flowers and stuff. So let's see here. Uh, plants. There we go. So we've got bamboo, which actually looks really good. I used that in a couple different builds the other day. And we've got all sorts of different stuff in here. Maybe some redwood stuff because we are right next to the redwood biome. I should have put a redwood tree. I might actually get one of those. Uh, so we got some large bushes. Um, Miri, what is this? That's new. A palm cluster bush. Oh, wow. There's so many different things in here now. Let's just, we got flowers, crops. Interesting. We could put pumpkins in there. That'd be pretty cool. And maybe a couple of rocks. Let's see here. Um, let's use these, I think will look good in here. There we go. I've never used a couple of these plants before, so we'll see how they look. Did it just get super dark or something? Or am I just, or did the trees just make it, <laughs> trees just made it super shady in here. Okay. Super shady. Too many trees. I've gone too far. Oh, there's a cloud too. I don't know. It's weird. What is this? Wow, you look weird. Interesting. That's your normal bush. Oh, that's a, a freaking tree. How did that sneak in here? Put a rock right there. And we'll put another rock maybe down here. That looks good. And we'll mix in a couple of these bushes. There we go. Uh, put a couple more of the redwood bushes over here, I guess. All right? Why not? Why freaking not? Riddle me that. I guess maybe I'll put a couple more of these weird funky things in here. I'll put one of these here. And here. Oh, here we go. That doesn't look so bad. Why is it so dark? Did, it's like, what time is it all of a sudden? It was like the middle of the day and then it just became super late or something. It's 1600. It shouldn't be this dark right now. Very strange. Um, okay, so yeah, and that banyan tree actually hangs into the next enclosure we're going to be doing, which is going to be down there. So I guess that's not bad. That looks pretty cool. That big dead tree kind of looks out of place, but it is cool looking. I don't know. Um, so let's go ahead and see if we can get... Um, oh yeah, the Bronto's here too. Um, yeah, anyways, let's see if we can get the, um, the Therizinos, the Tickle Chickens in here. We need to see what they look like. Well, look at what we have here. Two fully mutated Therizinosaurus in their super awesome tickle chicken closure. It's a, don't look at me like that. What you want, Ombre? You want some berries? Weird eating aggressive berry eating thing. <laughs> I actually really like the tickle chickens. They're a lot of fun. Uh, but anyways, yeah. Not a terribly complicated zoo enclosure, although it does look good. Um, I'm going to leave this open just because it looks better open. Hopefully the Therizinosaurus don't eat nobody or aggressively tickle anyone. They, I don't want people to die. These are very docile tickle chickens. Those, those little, uh, those little fingers are going to murderize some poor kid though. It's going to happen. Oh, I need railings. Uh, well, I guess we'll see what we put in here for zoo enclosures before I go uh, railing anything up. <laughs> uh, we still have, I'm so excited that I forgot. Uh, that I had all this extra room here to build enclosures. Our Bronto is kind of uh, in the way, though. So I might actually try and relocate said Bronto to maybe over here. Bronto, you are very loud. We'll just say this is the new Bronto loading area. Right in here. Are you going to look like Hammered Booty over here? You might. Yeah, this isn't a very flat spot. Maybe if I'll just I'll just turn them in here, and we'll hide them in this little little nook right here. <laughs> oh, the Brontos are just ginormous. 
Alright, yeah, we'll, we'll go with that. Oh no, now I can't get out. <gasps> Nailed it! I'm amazing! Uh, this is our X tree packy rhino. Uh, so maybe we'll do a little bit of a zoo tour now. I do have to do a full, uh, full blown zoo tour here again soon. Also need to work on finishing the actual entrance. Where are my uter? Oh, there's the there's the uterus faces, just chilling. This is actually was was one of my favorite enclosures for a long time. Um, man, this zoo is so freaking big now. Our stegosaurus are doing good. Might actually have to check the food troughs, make sure we still got sustenance and everything. Um, let's see here. We got to change the pony ride a little bit as well. Um, oh my God. We have so many Meth Meth Mesopithecus as well. Look at this. I feel like they're multiplying. Every time I come here, it seems like there are more and more each time. I actually found one escaped earlier. Ooh, and we also need to change our Megalania enclosure. Uh, let me see if this is right. I've been meaning to do this for so long. And I just keep forgetting to come back over to this one and fix it. I also need to use ivy on some more of the enclosures. I haven't used that in a while. Ooh. You know what else I haven't done? I haven't put our Gigantopithecus around the zoo. And we're still... We need to get one of our other beavers back. Our beaver is just alone. That's back when we had stuff on Wander. And things done escaped. Oh, this is the fastest mes Megapithecus ever. Hello, lag. Oh, my God. What was that? Uh, we're going to go ahead and leave this guy here. How did these get changed back? I swear to God, I've changed this like five times. At least. And S Plus just keeps screwing me in the booty. Every time. Literally every time I go to hit record, it starts raining. Like nine times out of ten. I have the worst luck ever. Oh, my God. But anyways... It's the zoo. It's amazing. We, we got to do a full-blown zoo tour here soon. But I hope you guys all enjoyed the video. A little bit shorter than usual. But um, I think it was a success. Don't forget to leave your comments down below. And vote for your favorite Capro mutation for the uh, Capro breeding competition. I'm trying to head over there now. The zoo is very expansive. So it takes a second to get anywhere. <laughs> All right, we're at the snow, which means we're almost out. I'm just going to go over the, the Capros once again uh, so you guys know what's going on. Those of you that don't know what this is, this is the Capro breeding competition that my patrons do. And, well, it's a new dino every week. And the winner of this gets uh, some cool armor, well, basically ascendant gear. And, yeah, it's a good time. It's a good way to reward the patrons for their crazy, awesome skills at mutating and um anyways yeah so we'll go over this once again we got uh 22 21 20 19 18 17 16 15 14 13 12 11 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 and one leave your comments down below but anyways i hope you guys all enjoyed the episode if you are new to the channel don't forget to subscribe and if you enjoyed the video don't forget to share support and smash that like button and as always i'll see you all in the next one and it'll probably be raining <laughs>